Well, after all the wet sanding is done, it's time to, to um, buffer out. This is where you get to see all that hard work come to fruition. Um, a couple ways you can do the first buff. You can use a waffle pad like this. You can see it's got some, uh, you can press on it and it'll push down. And actually, when you use these, you want to press hard enough so the waffle flattens. You know, it's not a tremendous amount of pressure, but it is some pressure. Uh, there's also wool pads. These will cut faster, these guys here. But you got to be careful because they heat up the paint a lot quicker too. Uh, this has been sanded all the way through 2000 by hand, and then I hit it with the Trizac 3000 pad with the DA sander. So I don't need to go aggressive on this. The white pad is uh, going to have enough cut. So you're going to apply a nice bead to the panel. Set your, your uh, buffer to between 1200 and 2000. I like about 1400. And then just start it up. see contrast there where I touched already you know, that, and that's just the first buff so I'm going to keep going with that um, a couple things you want to be really careful on the edge make sure you have enough compound on it so it doesn't grab the edge and actually burn your paint take the clear coat off that'll ruin your day um, just keep enough and, and when you get into a spot like here where you're coming 90 degree in Make sure you got compound along this edge here and this edge. So when the pad's touching here, that it's uh, not going bare, bare foam and burning through there. You gotta keep enough compound on there. And you wanna wipe it off and take a look at all different angles and see if you still see any sanding scratches. After, and I'll jump to this step. And I don't normally do it this way. After that first buff, I go to a softer, softer pad with a random orbit polisher, um, and I use a milder machine polish. Uh, this is machine polish too. They also have one even for finer scratches than that, but this, this is more than enough. And same thing. So that really has the paint coming to life there. It, uh, it 
take some where any swirl marks made by the first, the first more aggressive buff. And this brings it to an incredible shine. This, believe it or not, will even get more polished looking when we put the rubbing the uh, hand glaze on it. You can't wax these panels right away. It's gonna let the clear coat completely dry for 30 days. Let all any uh, any vapors escape out of there. But this thing is just incredible. See the water. It's gonna bead right up like that. Make sure as you're doing it, you keep keep the compound cleaned out of places where you don't want it to be, edges and stuff, so you're not making more work down the line. So I'm going to go back to the white pad, cut the rest of it, or buff the rest of it, and then finish up the panel.